Pororo and friends are on their way home from school. After a long day of learning, they can't wait to be home. Ah, oh, there's their home. Now it's time for the friends to hop out. And our first student to hop out is Krong. Krong is green. And he's a baby dinosaur who loves to say, Krong Krong. Let's see what he wants to do when he's inside the house. Now that Krong is inside, there's lots of things he could do. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Krong Krong. He wants to take a bath in the bathtub. Here come the bubbles. Krong Krong. Once we get all 10 of our friends out of the bus, our bus will have a surprise for us. So far we have friend out of the bus. And our next friend is going to be Eddie. Eddie is orange. And Eddie is a fox that likes to invent things. But right now, he's very hungry. So let's see what he wants to do in the house. Eddie's tummy is grumbling, so he'll get something from the fridge. Hmm, a little of this, and some of that. Oh, and one of these, and one more over here. It seems like Eddie is very hungry. Boy, I'm thirsty too. And thirsty. Some ice cubes will keep my drink cold. This'll be great. Now Eddie can sit down and enjoy his healthy snack. Remember your manners, Eddie. Our next friend from the bus is Patty. Patty is a penguin just like Pororo. What color is her hoodie? Purple! That's right, purple. Now let's see what she wants to do in the house. Oh, it looks like Petty wants to go upstairs to the wardrobe. Her purple hoodie is dirty, so she needs something new to wear. How about a red one? Nah, maybe a blue one? Not that one either. Ah, green. That'll work while she washes her purple hoodie. First, the dirty hoodie goes in the washing machine. Now that it's clean, it needs to go in the dryer to dry. Once it's done in there, she can put her favorite purple hoodie back on. Now her favorite hoodie is clean. And she can sit comfortably on the sofa and wait for the rest of her friends to come. And our next friend is Loopy. Loopy is a shy pink beaver who loves to cook and play with Pororo. Now let's see what she wants to do inside the house. Hi, Eddie. Hi, Loopy. Hi, Krong. Krong, Krong. Loopy wants to read a book. I wonder which one she'll choose. Ah, the brave beaver. Once upon a time, in a magical kingdom, there was a princess beaver. Oh, I love this story. Now that Loopy is reading her favorite book, we have... One, two, three, four. Friends out of the bus. And we can start getting our friends on this side. Starting with Harry the Hummingbird. He's a cute little purple bird who loves to sing. Just like this. <whistles> Let's see what he'd like to do inside Pororo's house. Hi, Petty. Mind if I sing you a song? Sure, Harry. I love music. Okay, here it goes. Yay, it sounds great! And while Harry's playing his tune, we can get our next friend, Rody the Robot. What color is he? Yellow! Yellow, that's right! And Rody the Yellow Robot wants to play on the playground outside. The slide is fun, but now he wants to try the seesaw. But poor Rody needs someone else to play with him. Maybe Tong Tong can help. He's a magic dragon whose spells don't always go as planned, but he always has good intentions. I'll play, Rody. Hooray! Now Rody can play on the seesaw with Tong Tong. And our next friend from school is Poby, the big white polar bear. Poby got really tired while at school. <laughs> what do you think he's going to do when he goes inside? Poby's going right upstairs to the bedroom so he can take a nap. Get some rest, Poby. 
Let's see how many friends we have left. We started with 10 friends. Minus. The eight friends that have gotten off the bus. Equals two. We have two friends left on the bus. But where are they? They're not on this side. And none on this side either. Where could they be? Aha! There they are, in the front of the bus. Come on out, Pororo. Ah, here he is, Pororo the little penguin. Pororo likes to wear his blue shirt. And he can't wait to join his friends inside the house. What do you think Pororo is gonna do? It looks like he wants to watch TV in his living room. Yay, my favorite show. And now we have one last friend on the bus. Let's see who it could be. Hello! Wow, it's our very own Genevieve. And now that we have all 10 friends off of the bus, we can see what the surprise is. To unlock the surprise, let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Great job counting. Now let's see what we can do. We can unlock the latches of our bus and open it up into a really cool playground. Wow. We just need to unfold the steps, the Ferris wheel, and the slide. And now our bus has turned into an amazing playground for our friends to play. Come on guys, let's play. Play? Huh? Yay. Wait for me guys. I want to play too! I want to go down the slide! Krong krong! My turn! Look out, Poby! Okay, Eddie! Alright, here I go! Woohoo! Let's play ball, Genevieve! Okay! I want to ride the merry-go-round! Let's all do it. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Well, let's do it. Wow, guys. Thanks for playing with us. But now it's time for Pororo and friends to head off to their next adventure. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. And remember, you are awesome.